Hey, Bushcraft Family here today, guys. And um, I was watching a few videos today about um, some preppers and not saying any names or anything or anything, but I did come across a few um, smaller ones that seemed like they were just starting out and stuff. And I and most of the stuff is the, the major important stuff that they always preppers always go for they go for the food and talk about their storage of food and stuff like that but a lot of times um preppers seem to forget stuff and myself included i i, I sometimes do it myself um that's why it's always good to think of this stuff um what else would i need if there was no stores, no electricity, and everything shut down, and we actually had to survive off of our preps and whatnot until things got started again, or if it did get started again. So I kind of came up with a list. Um, I'm going around and thinking, what kind of stuff would I need um, that I couldn't go out and go to Walmart and get, basically? Um, so I hope, hopefully this will be, um, helpful to some, some people. Um, and as always go down in, below and drop comments of other stuff that I might not even think about, which is, is normal. Um, pop it down in the comments and let other, other people know, um, you know, that type of stuff. And so, let's get started with the list. Um, and this is no special order, good to bad, or anything like that. It's just, I just came up with 10. Um, just just to start things off. Um, hard copy maps, number one. Hard copy maps. Um, now, there's ways to charge in your phone so you have maps. But... Um, say the grid's down and you you can't access um your data or anything like that so you're not going to be able to pull up your maps your google maps won't work anymore um so you're going to have to have a map so it's good to have say in your county have a map of that uh have a map of the state um they they make these books where you can open pages up and it it's different areas and stuff like that um and kind of mark out different areas and stuff that importance and stuff like that um good places where you can get water and where fishing's at and stuff like that um number two um basic hygiene stuff um toothpaste um, toothpaste will last quite a bit and there's also you can use baking soda and stuff like that to to brush your teeth um, floss stuff like that because um, say you get a really bad tooth you're gonna have to take care of that yourself or it's best to keep your 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 mouth clean stuff like that um, I don't know uh, feminine products <laughs> is another good thing you can stockpile that uh, hand sanitizer um, mask uh, latex gloves stuff like that stuff that you wouldn't really think about hey let's stick that in a container and store it um, what is number three long-term lighting um, you notice all these preppers they all talk about their fancy high beam lights and this and that. What happens when their batteries die? They have no light. So you kind of try to think of long term and um, making candles or storing a bunch of candles, um, solar lighting. Um, I just did a, a review on a nice little solar get up it has you can recharge your phone you can recharge other things um it has a radio a weather station thing on there which again the radio and stuff might not work anymore but 
Um, it also has lights on it and you just pop it in the window out in the sun and it charges. Um, and it has uh, a, f a couple different lights on it. So that would be a perfect solution right there just for lighting. Um, and there's other things. You can go to um, the dollar, dollar store and you can get these little things you stick in the ground to where in the daytime it charges a light and at nighttime it comes on. Those make awesome little lights for indoors. You just stick them outside and stick them in the window or something and then whenever you it's nighttime boom you got light um number four um uh, finances now i'm not saying go and stick a bunch of money in your drawer and stuff like that because if things get real bad more than likely that money is not going to be any good in any way so um a lot of preppers are all about gold and silver that sounds good and all but if say i have a i have a fishing pole and i don't have any tackle or anything with this and some guy says um i'll tr and i'm starving to death I, I need some food and a guy comes up to me and so well, i'll give you a silver bar for that fishing pole I don't want no silver bar. I want I want some food. So for me, you try to think of something that it's going to be scarce in times of need. Um, think of uh, alcohol's good, tobacco's good, sugar, honey, stuff like that. Store extra preps aside to where this is going to be barter material. Now. I'm not saying it's it's not good to, to uh, stockpile silver and gold and stuff like that, um, but you you got to look at it one way. It depends. Now that silver and gold would be important if things start getting going again, to where you could cash that in for currency again. But again, you can't eat gold and silver uh, in times of need. So you got to think about that um canning supplies those lids <laughs> those especially now you're seeing that they are very scarce so if you could stockpile a bunch of those lids and if you already have the jars and everything because you most time reuse them and stuff like that so that's not something to think about um stockpile some of the canning supplies um now you might not think this is really something but it's always good to have a bicycle um say you're 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 load up all your stuff in your bug out vehicle and you get down the road and boom something happens uh you get a flat tire and your jack's broke or something and you need to go somewhere to try to barter for a jack or something like that um it's a lot easier to take that bicycle off the back of that truck and ride your bike to town or something like that depending on the the the, the situation but you got to stop and think about it a bicycle is a lot easier to to get around on than just hoofing it and it all depends on situations like but a bicycle is is something to think about um number seven uh entertainment and inspiration um which, believe it or not, I do have a bunch of board games f that my kids had um, way back when, when they used to were into that type of stuff. So you keep that stuff in, on hand. I forgot to turn my phone off. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But you get what I'm thinking. Get some cards, um, get books and stuff like that. If you if your your situation is you you're wanting to bug in in a bad situation, which that should be foremost the most important thing, unless all of your supplies are in your bug out spot, so you're wanting to go there. But again, you're gonna want that type of stuff, um, extra Bibles and stuff like that, and something that you can 
entertain yourself instead of just waiting for stuff to happen. You want to have crafts and stuff like that. Something that, some entertainment for yourself. And again, number eight. Um, a lot of times, a lot of preppers, um, water, yep, water storage. You got to think of that water storage. Um, if you if you can um, get two two fifty five gallon drums, plastic jug, and set it to on your your spout, um, and link them together, because that that's a lot a lot of a lot of water right there. If you put it to, to your drain spout outside and then have it overfill coming out something that and have it covered up and whatnot something that the health department's not going to complain about or anything but that's that's one way for a little bit of wa water storage and stuff like that so that's something to think about um and you go to a store and get 50 gallon jugs and fill them up mark mark when you put the water in there and store them and then six months from now go and recycle that water I'm not saying throw it away you can use it for the garden or something like that and then um refill it mark it over again and you have it have uh water storage and keep keep doing that and you that's the same way with food you got to kind of check your expiration dates and stuff and recycle that stuff um once it starts getting low you can either give it to a food bank or you start using that and then resupply your 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 preps and stuff um number nine uh legal documents ids um keep copies of that stuff and have that in a watertight fireproof box or something that when things get back or or if they don't if things get back to normal then you have your ids and stuff like that in an all secured location and it's always good to keep um physical physical pictures of your family and stuff um family members and stuff like that just in case you need to say have you seen this person and stuff like that um that's always a good thing um another thing you can also keep your photos on a um one of these little things um so so you you keep a digital copy of all that stuff just in case you you need need that stuff and power supplied again and then you can get that stuff back again it's always good to to have copies of that stuff um number 10 um an extra set of glasses um say you're you have prescription glasses you have to to see um that's something to think about um what if you lose a set after everything's gone bad then you're going to need glasses and you didn't have any you're going to have a heck of a time trying to find your way around when you you can't see um reading glasses um some i have trouble sometimes seeing stuff real because nowadays they 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 make the font so dang small that you need magnifying glass most of the time to read so it's good to have extra sets of that stuff um medication if you're on uh some sort of medication that you're going to need to survive you're going to want to get a stockpile of that stuff if you can um a lot of times it's kind of hard especially people that's on social security and stuff like that so you have to figure out a way that you can stockpile um enough to survive on um but yeah that's that's the 10 items there guys um i i tend to think of these things from for some odd reason to kind of improve on my preps and stuff like that 
and I also like to bring it out to the public and then read comments of what your suggestions are and if these are good ideas or not. And a lot of times it, it's you learn, and that's that's the main thing here um, to learn. And uh, you can learn a little bit here and there. It it can help. But that's all I'm going to get to today, guys. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, comment. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Uh, if you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you go down and comment. Say hi. I'm a new person. I'm a, a new subscriber or something like that. And um, that way it locks it in place and that stuff. But until next time, guys, uh, like always, God bless.